Let's take a look at the divisions of machine learning. This is just another way to break up machine learning. Um, and these terms you're going to see uh, more in how we're going to structure our upcoming slides here. So I just want to give you a quick overview here. So we have classical machine learning. And the advantage of classical machine learning is the data is simple. You have clear features. Um, and generally, classical machine learning is extremely uh, uh, cost efficient compared to other types of machine learning. But this is where you have supervised, unsupervised uh, kind of uh, stuff. So, you know, when you think of classical machine learning, think of those two things, supervised and unsupervised um, uh, learning. Then you have reinforcement learning. This is uh, when there is no data. And the idea is that the model is going to, through trial and error, figure out what is the right thing to do. This is where we have real-time decision-making, game AI. So we talk about Mario or Sonic, uh, uh, like the, the ML model playing those games and failing again and again and again until it can pass the game. Uh, learning task or robot navigation. So think of autonomous uh, driving vehicles. That would be a good case for reinforcement learning. We have ensemble methods when uh, quality of data is a problem. So then you're going to have different strategies to work with multiple uh, models or algorithms to have a better outcome. And here we have things like bagging, boosting, stacking. Okay, and so you know, you'll see those terms like boosting. You'll definitely see the word boost more uh, when we get to that. Then we have neural networks and deep learning. You should just really think of deep learning as neural networks. This is when the data is complicated and or the features are unclear. This is where you'd use uh, neural networks like a convolutional neural network, a recurrent neural network, uh, a GAN, so generative adversarial, <laughs> adversarial network, sorry, uh, multi-layer perceptrons, uh, or perceptron, sorry, MLP autoencoders. And I just have a really hard time pronouncing these things. But yeah, you're going to see these terms again. So again, don't worry about it right now.